It's about that time. It is about that time. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mega Devify, coming back at you with another Pokemon video. We have been absolutely crushing Pokemon Legends Arceus recently, and you may be wondering why I just said Arceus and not Arceus, like I've been saying in the past three to four months in all of my videos, and that is because a subscriber actually took the time out of their day to correct me, to tell me that I was wrong, to publicly embarrass me, but you know what? I've been being embarrassed ever since I stepped out of my mom's womb back in 1999. So this crushing weight that I bear on my shoulders is no different than what I'm used to. You know, I've already gone numb, and at this point, this is the perfect segue into the video. So today we're gonna be reacting slash first impressions slash taking a look at the new released Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet starters that Game Freak has put out for all of us to enjoy. The game is set to be released in 2022, late 2022, no actual release date, as is Game Freak's style, but that is all right. One more thing before we get into the video, ladies and gentlemen, I have seen that 80% of you are not subscribed, yet you are sticking my videos out until the end. What is the deal with that? All it takes is one quick second, click that subscribe button, or I'm gonna haunt you tonight. And without further ado, Let's get going right into the video. All right, let's get going straight into it, guys. Up first is the fire starter. First up is, wait, wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oops. I, okay, I, I, I think that's the wrong photo. There we go, much better. Okay, okay, he's a pretty good looking guy. Up first is the spicy alligator. Fue Coco, or as the boys are calling him, Fue Loco. This arsonist alligator has the ability Blaze, like most of the other fire Pokemon, fire starters in all of the Pokemon games to date. And I've got to say, his design is actually quite cool. I like the little, little tuft he's got on the top of his head. And his three little teeth, he's very cute. Wait a minute. Hasn't there been a crocodile before? Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's been a crocodile before. Game Freak, I'm on to you. You can't just take the same sprite, turn it red, make it a little bit cuter, and- oh, okay, okay, maybe you can. He's, he's, he's so cute, oh my god. Well, it's interesting to see Game Freak's take on a new crocodile with new typing. A fire retardant reptile, pretty much. All in all, pretty cool. I've heard rumors that his final evolution will develop dragon type. Uh, we know how rumors go, they're not always right, of course. But fire dragon would be very cool for a starter. Uh, Charizard was just like that. However, he didn't actually have a have dragon typing. Depression. And so I think that this guy's got potential. All right, up next is the Captain Duck himself, Waxley. Looking quite spiffy, I must say. But I am starting to think that Game Freak is running out of ideas now. It's like Game Freak took a duck, colored it blue, and said, okay guys, not good enough. They should have upgraded one more time to our lord and savior, Donald Duck, because that would be pretty cool. What an insane crossover idea. Game Freak, I'm willing to take the sponsorship. All you gotta do is message me. I'm sure you're watching this video, uh, obviously. So uh, <laughs> anyway, we can probably guess his evolution line. The next logical step is Donald Duck. And the only way that I can see it going after that, the only way that I can see it going after that is King DDD. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! No! It's actually Dolan. It's Dolan Duck. This guy is literally Dolan Duck. They took the meme and they turned him into the new water starter in Generation 9. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if they've got a sense of humor, but I can say that this is absolutely hilarious. I like water types, but this is just too funny. Moving on to the third and final Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet starter. We have Sprig Atito. Oh my god, what the fuck? is that it's like if puss and boost rolled up to los santos customs and said paint me mon ami every single furry's wet dream here and oh my god i can just feel i can just feel the stoner memes coming now the cat has a fucking hemp leaf on its forehead its eyes are red you guys see where i'm coming from here you must know but to be honest with you i think that this design might actually be the best out of the three 
Sprigatito, if I play Generation 9, which I will, I believe that I will be choosing you as my starter Pokemon, just based solely off looks and off of the information that we know up to this point. What a cute little kitty cat. This design is actually quite good, I'm not gonna lie. Here comes the fanfic though. I can just imagine the wordplay. <laughs> Sprigatito? No, 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 no. <laughs> More like Sprigatitties, an absolute furry field day. And you know what? No hate from me. I'm here for it. So what do you guys think of these three new starters? To be honest with you, it's pretty obvious that they're starting to run out of ideas. However, I think that they did put a lot of effort into this. I think that maybe we should give it a chance. And every single Pokemon game has been arguably quite good up until this point. And a large factor of that is due to the starter Pokemon, the pseudo legendaries that you pick at the beginning of the game. And we, we all love them. They live in a special place deep, deep within our hearts. And I can go on for hours talking about why I like or dislike these designs, but uh, this video is meant to be a first impression video. Uh, the same feeling I get when I first look at them might be different than the feelings that you get when you first look at them, so just remember that this is just my opinion and this is in no way fact, obviously. But these three starters, if they are any indication of what all the new Pokemon in Generation 9 are going to look like, I think we have a pretty good game coming up, I'm not going to lie. They seem quite cute, quite cool. And I can't wait to see what their evolutions look like, their final forms and their typing. It's going to be very, very cool. And you're all going to be on the ride with me because as soon as Generation 9 comes out, we're going to be doing a full Let's Play into that game. It is going to be glorious. It is going to be awesome. We are going to get right down to our Pokemon roots and we are going to have a great time. And I would just like to say thank you to everybody who tuned in to check out this video today. It really means a lot. As you know, I put a lot of effort into editing and you know, recording these videos, and if you could leave a like, comment which starter you're gonna pick, and subscribe to the channel, that would mean the absolute world to me, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't die, and take it easy. Bye!